Are you curious about the new Tiana's Palace at Disneyland? Well, let's take a look at that. Hey everyone, it's Ked from the Mouse Scout, and today we are at Tiana's Palace in New Orleans Square at Disneyland. This used to be the French Marketplace, and Disney has rethemed this quick service restaurant to the Princess and the Frog. It's where you can celebrate the spirit of New Orleans with an all new menu of Creole and Cajun cuisine. The restaurant started serving guests on September 7, 2023. It offers lunch and dinner, and you can use the mobile order service on the Disneyland app. The pickup window is to the left of the entrance to the restaurant. On opening day, however, all mobile order time slots sold out within the first hour. So we had to wait in line for over an hour that day, <laughs> but it was okay. It was opening day. We expected it. It is better now, of course, but we do recommend putting your orders in early. The interior decor is beautifully decorated in blues, yellows, and greens. The blue glass ceiling makes me feel like I'm beneath the evening sky, which matches the mural behind the counter and the stars on the floor. I really like the lamps in the restaurant, especially the ones that look like water lilies that are in the mural. The tile ceiling and intricate woodwork really feels like the Old South, so be sure to look up when you're in the restaurant to appreciate the details. New Orleans was the birthplace of jazz, and playing in a jazz band is Louis, the trumpet playing alligator's dream. So there are lots of references to jazz here in Tiana's restaurant. As a matter of fact, several times throughout the day, the Jambalaya Jazz Band will play some tunes on the stage in the garden patio, making you feel like you're really in the Big Easy. And although this is not a character dining location, you may catch a glimpse of Tiana walking through the square. Just like it was when it was the French Marketplace, there are two sides you can go to to get your food. They offer the same dishes on both sides, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. Before you get in one of these lines, however, be sure to check out the menu posted on the wall. It offers descriptions of the few of the dishes on the side. They're interesting to read. The entrees include the house gumbo, seven greens gumbo, with or without chicken and andouille sausage, Cajun spiced half chicken, Mufa lettuce sandwich, beef po' boy sandwich, Gulf shrimp and grits, and Joffrey's chicory cold brew coffee. For the kids, roasted chicken drumstick, toasted ham and cheese sandwich, and baked macaroni and cheese. The first dish we tried was the shrimp and grits. The grits were delicious, very, very cheesy, and very rich. The Creole sauce was mildly spicy, more of a flavorful spicy than hot, and the shrimp was cooked just right. I really enjoyed the beef po' boy sandwich. The slow cooked beef in the gravy was delicious and tender, and the mayo with tomatoes and pickles was a perfect complement to the beef. I also really liked the house made pickles they served on the side. The buttermilk cornbread was also quite good. It's a sweet cornbread, whereas in my family, we make our cornbread without sugar, but I still enjoyed it. I wish though that they had served it with some honey butter or any butter at all, but Greg asked and they didn't have any. The Joffrey's Chicory Cold Brew with sweet cream was tasty. We of course had to get it with the light up Ray. He is the Cajun Firefly from the movie. He is so cute and changes from green to blue to red. He was an extra five bucks, but he was worth it. It sits on my desk now. You must, uh, because it's the law, finish with one of Tiana's famous beignets. 
you can watch them hand fill each beignet in the restaurant. It's filled with lemon icebox pie filling and topped with lemon glaze. They are delectable. Pillowy soft and fresh with the tangy lemon cream, it's a great way to finish your meal. There is lots of seating outside. Although, as with all Disney quick service locations, it does get very busy around meal times. They have all new tables and chairs which match the updated decor. The mint julep bar is still where it was on the side of the restaurant. This walk-up window is where you can get a non-alcoholic mint julep and Mickey-shaped beignets. Unlike the beignets you get inside Tiana's restaurant, these are the traditional beignets topped with powdered sugar. These are still my favorite. They're super fluffy, light, and just melt in your mouth. And they're shaped like Mickey. What more could you want? I admit I was skeptical when I first looked at the menu. Nothing sounded good to me. However, after seeing the food and eating some of it, I am very pleased. I think this is a great addition to New Orleans Square, and I look forward to many more meals here. Have you tried it? Does it look good to you? Please be sure to comment below and let us all know your thoughts. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. We would really appreciate the support. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Until next time, be safe and remember, it's all just designed for fun.